Hey everybody, in this short technical demo, I'm going to show you how our new offering for RevealX360 collects VPC flow logs in AWS to give you broad visibility into your VPC, so you can gain insight into services like RDS and Lambda, and use that insight to hunt for threats with advanced AI detections. When combined with extra hot packet sensors, this new offering provides enhanced security by combining the breadth of flow logs with the deep visibility of packets unifying everything into a single management pane so you can see your entire attack surface, conduct forensic investigations, and hunt for threats all in one place. Now let's start the demo. Okay, so we're starting off on the assets page here, and we're just going to take a look and see what our VPC flow logs can identify for us. So let's go over to the device groups page and let's take a look at devices that have been identified within the last seven days. We can see the most active group members here with top bytes in and top bytes out. And if we open up an activity map, we can see how each of these devices in the VPC is interacting with each other. Now, this is what's going on in the VPC, but what if we want to see external connections? Well, we can go back to the previous page and see external connections accepted here. I'm just gonna drill down by L7 protocol here for a little bit more added granularity. We can see which protocol was being used for the connection. And if we drill into any of these protocols, we can see the actual device that was connected to. And we can view the metrics for that device specifically here. And all these metrics are available for anything in the VPC. So for example, let's see if we wanted to see EC2 instances. Well, if we go back here, we can see an EC2 instance here, view metrics for that EC2 instance. And notice the uh, cloud metadata here, the cloud instance ID, the cloud account, VPC cloud ID, subnet that it belongs to, all this information is getting automatically pulled out of the VPC flow logs. There's no manual configuration going on here, either through the web UI or the REST API. This is all just out of the box, uh, comes with VPC flow logs. And we get other metrics too. Like uh, if we look at peer devices, we can see which other devices in the VPC this EC2 instance is talking to. We can also see DNS activity over here, see responses over time. Uh, we can also see host queries, which specific host queries are being made here. And that's what we can see for EC2 instances, but what about say databases? Well, if we go back to the assets page, we can scroll down, look for databases. And looks like right here, we can look at our RDS instance here. Take a look at that, and we can view, say, what protocols are being used to talk to the RDS instance. Looks like it's all Postgres, so that's a good thing. We don't want to see any suspicious protocols there. Uh, we can also see which devices are talking to our database. Looks like uh, looks like there are two devices talking to the database right now. Now, interesting here, one of these devices is actually a Lambda function. Let's take a look at that Lambda function. Now, this is something really cool about VPC flow logs. Uh, you can monitor these AWS services like Lambda and RDS that are typically very difficult for agent-based solutions to monitor because you can't actually get to the solution to install some sort of agent. But with VPC flow logs, we can monitor these services uh, passively. These services are just automatically classified and identified by looking at the VPC flow log. So for example, here you can see that this has been identified as a Lambda function. Uh, unfortunately, this Lambda function seems to be involved in some detections. So let's go over to the detections page now. Now here's a list of our detections that are automatically generated based on AI analytics. And uh, right here, you can see our Lambda function has been caught doing some database staging, uh, pulling data off of our database, that RDS we were looking at earlier. Let's just go take a look for more information here. If we scroll down, we can see related detections. Looks like shortly after the database staging, this Lambda function unfortunately exfiltrated some data. Let's take a look at that. And yeah, we can see where that data was exfiltrated to. And again, all of this information is being pulled directly from VPC flow logs. There's no need to create any traffic mirroring or that sort of thing. I'm really excited for this functionality, and I hope you are too. If you'd like to try out RevealX360 for yourself, you can check out extrahop.com slash demo slash cloud. I hope you've enjoyed this technical demo. Thanks for watching.